Psalms chapter 71 and verse 7. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. I am as a wonder to many. Many people wonder about me. I got people wonder about, you know, the Facebook posts you post. The videos you post. The things you teach. The things you believe. I got people Saturday. Oh, I can't believe you sit there and you scream and holler. You're too loud. I can't believe you. you hell. I can't believe you kick religions. Even my own family. I'm a wonder to my family. That here... You know, we got saved in the church, and we go to church, and we go, uh, man, you got saved, and, and you got defensive, you got angry, you, you, I'm a wonder to many. I remember when I met my, my second wife, after my first wife died of cancer, I told her, I said, I said, you know, you're going to have to see who we are. I'm no typical Christian. And I introduced her to the street ministries. And introduced her to the ministry work that we do. And she took part in it. And we we weren't settled just this ministry. We looked for another one. And then we looked for another one. And the Hayward Family Ministry that we've been in, it's just, man, it's, all different kinds. We've done parades. We've done flea markets. We've done uh, uh, this area. We, we passed out tracks here. We we get my, my son got kicked out of a, a Walmart. Uh, and you homeschool. People are wondering, you know, you homeschool your children. You know, put them into public school. You don't associate them with the world. And oh, yes, I do. Come down to the farmer's market. You see how much of the world uh, we get when we partake of the street ministry in the farmer's market. How that they hire DJs to try to, to shut up the gospel. But I'm a wonder to many, you know, I can't believe that post you post. And I can't believe how you feel, you know, you know, you know, your life, you know, you're a Christian. You're supposed to be above it all. And no fact is, you know, you've been a widower twice. Now, I haven't been a widower, but you, you shouldn't be acting like that. Yeah. And you need to learn to shut your mouth. Yep, yeah, see, there you go. I can't believe you tell people to shut their mouth. I can't believe you tell people they're wrong. can't believe you say that that religion's above any... Listen, I, I got my whole family. Were mad at me some point in time. My whole family would be, you know, Catholics and all that. And, and, and I rebuke them and I show them the Bible and yet... Some of my family members are saved. Some of my families came out of their modern Bible into a King James Bible. And people have been saved, the Lord using me. People have grown, the Lord using me. The people have come out of modern Bibles using me. People have come to know that there is a hell, God using me. And people have come to know the gospel of Jesus Christ, because God used me. People got saved because God used me. People have outright died and rejected Jesus Christ and gone to hell, but God used me to warn them. Listen, I'm a marvel to my family. I'm a marvel to my neighbors. I'm a marvel to other Christians. I'm a marvel to pastors. I'm a marvel or a wonder unto many. You look at my car. He can't just have a bumper sticker on his car. No, he's got to put uh, uh, scripture bumper stickers all over his car. He's got to wear patches and, and, and uh, uh, scripture on his shirts, his hats, his jackets. He's got scripture on the front door, which is scriptural. He's got scripture above his front door. Inside, he's got scripture there. He's got scripture there. I got fired from a job because I had scripture on my desk. The whole place was decorated for Halloween. It was the time of Halloween. Of witches and goblins and wickedness and the devil's birthday. 
And I was fired because I had one scripture, my life verse, Titus 2.13, on my desk. And I had it hidden. I had it to a point that only I could see it where I was sitting. And still I was fired. Caught they didn't. Um, I am a wonder unto many. And yet I am not a wonder unto all. Many. People have come across, people have, who have been introduced to me, people who passed by me. But there are people in Germany who don't know who I am, and yet there are people in Germany who do know who I am. Our public ministry, the Hayward Family Ministry, is going worldwide. You realize the Hayward Family Ministry is in Russia, it's in uh, Muslim countries, Yemen. We even been touched with people who are in Korea. And yet, I'm a wonder unto many because I'm not wonder unto all. There are many, many multitudes of people in this world that don't know who I am. There are probably people in Wyoming, maybe Hawaii, maybe Central America, South America. Places in Africa, we picked up, there's a person that listens to us on the Congo. There are people in Europe, in Asia, who don't know who I am and who cares who I am. And if they do come across me, I hope the only thing they see of me is Jesus Christ. And I hope they're wondering to say, what is it that he has that he is preaching about, that he is excited about, and I want it. If there's anything of the, of the farmer's market, and yeah, we see the old faces, it's the new faces. And the old faces. But for the new faces to say, what is that man screaming about? Or preaching. And I want them to know as a wonder, what, what, what's he saying? The only thing I can make out is Jesus, Jesus, hell, Jesus, gospel, Jesus died, Jesus saved, Jesus. I want people to know uh, that Jesus, I don't want them to know styling. And then the Lord tarries. If I were to die within the next five years, the Lord tarries. If I go to be home with the Lord absent from this body and another 10 years after that, people are not going to remember. I have a vivid imagination of my first wife, Lisa, 10 years ago. She went to be home with the Lord. I wonder how many of her friends remember her. And there are people I grew up with and friends and not acquaintances. I don't think of them. I don't even know if they're living or alive today. And someday, if the Lord tarries 5, 10, 15, 20, 35, 40 years down the road, I'm going to be that, that I don't even remember, I don't even know who. But I hope that I am such a wonder unto many. It may be five, ten years down the Lord road if 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 the Lord tarries. I don't remember, but there was a man that would be over there and he screamed Jesus. He screamed hell. I don't know who he is, but that, that car in that parking lot, man, it's all about the the scripture, Jesus, heaven, hell, Bible, something. Listen, I've had people come up to me in the middle of a store, a hardware store. That's your car out there. <laughs> How do you know? Because you're a wonder in the many. Like I said, I've got Christians and pastors who are wonder. Yep. And that's exactly how God made me, to be a wonder. I wonder what he's got. I wonder what he's got that he can, hey, he don't scream at a football game. He don't holler out at a baseball game. He doesn't wear the team mascot colors of, a, a, no, he carries a sign. He preaches. He shows me scripture. He passes out paper about his God, Jesus Christ. I'm a wonder unto many. Glory to God.